Hey guys! We're Rigor Robin Pimsy, and welcome to Death's Door! So, this was an indie game that was initially released on Xbox and Xbox Game Pass, but it came to the Switch in November 2021. So it's been out for a couple of months now, uh, and it's described as an indie version of an isometric Zelda-like. Uh, and it's not all in black and white, don't worry, but this is just the I don't mind being game. in black and white, I like Return to Oberdin. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we are now mind. arriving at the Reaping Commission headquarters. Sharon, the bus driver, end of the line. Everybody knows at least four Sharons. No, I don't actually. You don't know any Sharons? Nope. Ooh, look at that glowing red sword. Go left stick to move, and it looks like you'll have a bow oh! and arrow at some point. <laughs> and Pimsy immediately kills herself. Yep, Hurrah. you've lost a bit of health already. Do not worry, the game will tell you what the buttons are and what they do. Oh, cool, okay. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, an arrow. You might need to aim with the right stick. Oh, no, no, it's A. Oh, it's A to shoot the arrows. Okay. Oh, well, there you go. You can charge it up. Okay. So, in this game, you're playing as a crow who is acting for the Reaping Commission, so you will have to reap souls. Seems like the phone isn't connected to anything. So that's potentially a save point or a reap souls. What as in kill people? Travel. Well, reaping souls is just kind of doing the job of something's gonna die. Therefore, you need to lead them to death. Noodle, noodle bar. Poster of me on the wall. I mean, there's a poster. This is a world I'm where famous. there's a. This is a world where lots of people are crows. So there are anthropomorphic uh, animals. And they all do different jobs, I'm assuming, but for all we know at the moment, it is a crow society, and this oh. is a crow homeless person. Ain't got no souls, ain't got no shinies, ain't got no worries. Vaga the Vagabond. Stay safe out there. Can't kill him. Well, no, he's, a, he's not like a threat to you. Why do you immediately go for that as the... You told me I've got to kill people. Yeah, things, not crow people you are a crow yourself i didn't know that gone to you. fix a broken pipe back in three to four years well that's management <laughs> sounds <for> accurate <laughs> that's being a landlord oh, nothing hello yeah you're clear move it along bud Beep. ball plot head of security oh like full block exactly okay. that is a very that's a very weird reference to make because it's like <laughs> Paul have you Blatt, ever seen that? I have not, and for some reason it's memed on, and I don't know why. <laughs> Better get moving, don't want to be late. Uh, uh, yeah, Paul oh, Blart, Mall Cop, and Paul Blart, Mall Cop 2. For some reason. <laughs> Wait, there's a second one? Of course there is. I had literally no. Whoa. Big statue. I had literally no idea there was a second one. Oh, there was a moving platform, wasn't there? Uh, there probably is, yes. Uh, wow. Yeah, they're, they're a floating platform, so at some point, I would imagine you will get an ability that lets you cross gaps. And break through walls. Most likely, yes. Again, this game is described as a Zelda-like, which is strange because I don't think there have actually any, been any Zelda-likes that have been in isometric. So, Chandler the Handler. Well, well, well. So you can already tell the puns are going to keep coming. Look who showed up for work. No worms for you. Because only the early bird catch. Never mind. Anyway, it's your lucky day. I actually have a soul for you to read. And not just any soul, a giant soul. Think of the commission on that. I hope you haven't forgotten your trading. Stay in your talents. Giant souls don't often go peacefully. Look at the size of that raven. Look at the size of that raven. Dropping in your door for you now. Right, the early bird catches the worm, but the and second. And it's, it's almost like it's Monsters Inc. as well. The you, second you go mouse through gets the doors. The yeah, but. For the soul that size, you might be able to afford some time off, but remember, your door will remain open until you return with your designated soul. While your door is open, you will be mortal and you'll age, so get it done quickly. Reaping souls, power the doors so we can reap more souls and the cycle repeats forever. It's literally the plot of Monster, Monsters Inc. Anyway, get to it and be careful. No, the monsters age regardless. Right. You're immortal Well, the in point this world. is, you go through the door to get power, and then you do it again to get more power, and the cycle perpetuates. 
Darwin the Vault Keeper. Okay. Agatha the Typist. Oh boy, I love typing. Can't get enough of it. Okay, you do you, huh? Good old get Agatha. I'm just gonna shift the weapon. Shiny webcams things. Slightly. Oh, ravens like shiny things. That's of why it's they all do. shiny. Yeah. I don't get it. I hang on. I hang on. What about that? There Let's go. just go and see. Good. Oh no, the door's where I need to. Oh god. <laughs> just falling off to your death. Yes. Yeah, but the, I'm a mortal in this world, right? That's you you head. are well. You've lost another pip of health, so maybe you're not that immortal. Who knows? Okay. I'm gonna die before. I've... You are probably going to die. Ooh, it's an umbrella. Pick up the umbrella. You found a discarded umbrella. It's just a thing to keep your feathers dry in grim weather. You can equip it from the weapons menu. So I assume that's plus. Three giant souls, four crystal shards, another four crystal shards, vitality and magic. Yep. Good old standard Zelda stuff. So, oh, okay, so... Oh, they've actually it, got it's a, different stats. Yeah. So, so hang on, so... One, so standard three, yeah. 2.5, 0. 0.4... Right, so basically... I would, I would imagine the umbrella is weaker but faster. No, it's... Oh no, it's just weaker. It's just weaker. Huh. Wow. Not very but... useful in combat, but it will keep your feathers dry. Okay, yeah, well. it keeps your feathers dry, basically. Yeah. So I guess if we can't go somewhere because of wetness. Yeah. Shiny things. So shiny things obviously being collectible. Yeah. But yeah, as back. you can imagine, this is the standard Zelda... Uh, menu screen, you've got the three collectibles to get, you've got the collectible health and magic upgrades. <laughs> you could you could just say this is just a good game by itself. It doesn't have to but always the, be the, like Zelda. The point is, is that the genre of the game itself is it's typically a oh. Zelda like. It doesn't have to be a Zelda like. It's in this is an indie isometric action platforming game. This is, action really, this is game. really satisfying to like move around by the way. Yeah, there are there are some games you know once you pick up the controls and see how the character moves, you're like, oh, this is a good game. Or Bust this off. controls well. Well, yeah, that'll be for the. Oh fuck! You are gonna kill yourself <sighs> before you even get through the door. Yeah. See, last pip of health. You got the red vignette on the on the screen. Mm. Let's go in here. <laughs> Let's go in there. Maybe your health will regenerate. I'll be dead forever if not. <laughs> they said don't go through the door because you'll be. Oh god, it's nope. not okay. The Grove of Spirits, assigned soul location. So when it says that your time's limited in here, I don't think there is actually a time limit. It's just uh, if you die here, you... you have to restart, you know, going through everything again. Well, should I go back and die in the other world then? I I don't know, and I don't think it's worth testing, because if you do, then what? You, you die and you come back. You will probably get items to restore health. And I do like how the, the text is tutorialized within the game world is itself. That... No, it's just a plant of some kind. Yeah. I was expecting that to be a full spin attack, but it's not. No, it's kind of like a long... Mm -hmm. Ah! Okay. Why was it going for me? I don't know. Ah, why? It's a slash. So we kill those things. Well, they're switches, so... You, you attack the switch, and it will open a door. Oh, he's following you. Well, why not? Friend? Probably. Yeah. Oh, do I collect them? No. They're just there to follow you around. It's not... You don't need to collect them. Friend? Friend. Yay! Th this is not Pikmin. Follow the leader, 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 follow the leader. And this is going to tell you about... Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I love you. They don't like the foot sword swings. I love you, come on, come on, come on, here we go. Yay. But as soon as you attack, they're going to disappear again. Mushroom. Uh-huh, yes, mushroom. Swing. Mushrooms recover something. Huh? Did, did the text come up? No, no, it was... So that's the tutorial text to aim arrows but so underneath your health bar there are like four dots so i think this is recharging your ammo for the arrow Something oh like that. come back come back come back yeah you're not going to be able to get through this game without swinging the sword so don't even bother trying to keep them with oh but i want friends you will get friends at some point 
But consider Bump. how many times you have to swing the sword. It's not going to work. Okay. Demonic that forest spirit. Looks so much like a Pokemon. It does look like a Pokemon. But here's your first boss. Ooh. Oh, you're dead. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> death. Oops. Oh, is that your sister? No. You haven't checked. I haven't checked, but I don't need to. It wasn't my sister. Hey, you got full health. Try again. So I can only imagine that uh, you have to defeat this monster to progress. This is not a uh, you know, a forced tutorial death, even though it comes up with a giant screen saying death. Oh. I don't Ooh. know what health it has. You probably don't. So standard Zelda boss rules are once it changes oh. phase yeah. three times, that's enough for it to be, you know, considered dead right but clearly we've had one phase which is the tentacles have been slapping on the floor there's another phase where they spin around and it bounce off the walls is this a, another phase yeah because the color is changing as well like it's gone dark and uh there's glowing purple coming out of it so and yeah so you got bow and arrow that means you can oh the bow and arrow recharges ammo with you attacking with sword swing so yeah, I think if you that's... get too close, then you can always back off, use the bow and arrow, and then, you know, get close again. That's good. There you I go. killed it! Yay! How many died one time? Da, 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 da. <laughs> I feel like oh. I'm in spirited away right now. Hello. What's the, is it Totoro with the things that... Uh, no, you're prin thinking of Princess Mononoke. Yeah, what are they called? The forest sprites. Um, I forget what the name is actually. Friends! See? You got your friends back. Friends! Come on, friends! Are you coming with me? No. It's just um, the ones on the floor. How do we take the spirit with us? You can't. They said to bring the spirit through the door. Uh, it did say to do that. But you were not going to be able to do. Is your sister. <laughs> Into the lost cemetery, the forbidden region. <laughs> There's a shiny there. We'll have to come around the other sides and get it. Oh, Ooh. hello. Is that a raven? I assume so. Yeah, that looks like a raven too. Ooh, fires. So there's a ladder there. But I've you probably want to go through here and go then go left yeah, to right. get the shiny. Sorry, I know things are... But we're playing a Zelda game. I need to yeah. destroy the, content, the yes. contents of things. You do indeed. You collected a life seed. Planting one of these in a green pot will yield soul fruit, which can be consumed to restore your health. Okay, so I don't really need that right now. Then. No. They agree with No, they are fires. That requires a key. Or is that just decoration? Probably just decoration. So enjoying this. I like this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Monsters. Okay. They definitely They do look like monsters, yes. I assume the game checkpoints after you change regions as well. Oh, you get something from killing those monsters. Is that not life seeds? Or... No, because you ha it says you had a hundred to begin with, so it must be a kind of currency. Right. The keyhole! Do I want to do that or do I want to... Well, it might be a checkpoint. So you can enter and go back to the previous world. The world right, between okay. worlds. Okay. Ooh. You collected a mass of soul energy. So that's soul energy then. Yes. Soul energy can be spent on the Hall of Doors on Reaper upgrades. So if you go through the Hall of Doors, you might be able to buy something with your 200 soul energy. What 
are these things? They're Ooh, it's, dead. It's That's headless. what they are. Hmm. Well, that the game will do lots of perspective tricks like that to say, oh, you know, you can't go this way, but actually you can. Should because I go down it's just or should I go... So I would go through the Hall of Doors to begin with, um, because I, I don't think there'll be anywhere way. else to go here. Like, it'll, I assume it'll be a dead end, but... This way to the summit. I mean, I kind of want to just keep going instead of going back. Okay. So... More soul energy! So can you go under the bridge? I don't think so. No, okay. No, I can't go that way. Because... Mm -hmm. I can't go that way because it also has a lock. Yep, but it has a natural keyhole. Requires a key to open. I assume so. With a hole for a key. These aren't anything, are they? I need to... Oh, it's no. just a campfire. Just checking. They, they only give you it. two soul energy each as well. So, well, those ones do, but these might... monsters are not meant to be a threat. Bop. Wow. Oh, okay, just take one hit yeah. then. I'll be honest, I'm surprised when you aim the bow and arrow, there isn't a, like a little cursor that comes up to show where the arrow is paint pointing towards. I think it's quite generous with its hitbox. Maybe it is, yeah. Ah, so some gates. Unlock once you've that had two little lock signs on it. Mm -hmm. So maybe. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. When, when you kill a monster, the lock goes away. Can I take that? No. And there's a green pot for you. I'm not going to plant it because I don't think I need no. to right now. Okay, you are at half health. That's yeah, fine. I was at half health. Oh, fuck. Ah! Ah! You're at dead. I know. Ah! No! Ah! So you're at half health. Uh, yeah. You're dead. What do we say about hubris? Hmm. Should have done the green pot when I told you to. Could have showed the water. Mm. Ah, it. well, it's fine. At least you checkpointed in the hall of Oh, oh, wait. No, you didn't. Didn't do that. Ooh, you are lucky you started back there. We knew but you coming. kept all the stuff that you've obtained so far. Luckily, despite it being a game that has soul energy and is about reaping souls, How many? Yeah, it's it, even doesn't, kept that. it doesn't seem to be a Dark Souls-like where you lose stuff when you die, which is good because... And the gates stay open, interesting. Yeah. Because that would add a level of frustration that I don't think would warrant this from the game. So, I'm glad they did <laughs> so you might want to think about if green pots give you stuff to restore your health it might be a permanent thing but then you have to consider how many times you're going to go actually go back into an area. I don't think it's a permanent thing. That's the key. That is the key. So we'll use that. Yep, you drop the ladder. Well, right, remind me to come back here because that gate yeah, will probably be open when I open the gate up here. Here, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's two gates to be opened with no keyholes. Pop! Oh. <laughs> Thought I had longer range than it did. Yeah. I think that charge up move is best used when there are going to be enemies charging towards you. I don't know if it covers more than one enemy. Oh, can da, I get da, 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 that? Mini boss! Oh, nice. Get him, get him. Get him! Okay. And there's another green pot as well. <laughs> ah! Defeat the horde! Hmm. I would have expected the giant face to be like a shield, but I think it doesn't it is. seem like it. No, because the. So if an enemy was going to oh, be ew, he dropped his eye. invulnerable, I would expect you to have to like respond to the hit being invulnerable, right? So I would expect it to have no effect when you hit them with it. Plant the seed! Consume the fruit! Da -da -da. There you go. Dude, die! 
So it seems like that isn't a permanent thing because it looks like the fruit has been used up. Yeah, that's what I said before. Well, that's good. That's like you have to choose when to do in fight healing then. And yeah, it's, it's not very safe to attack them mid-roll. Okay, but, can oh. I take any of this stuff? No. Mm -hmm. It seems like you kill enemies and you get soul energy and that'll I don't be it. know if I can reuse that pot either. No, that's what I was saying. Like, it seems to be a one-use thing so far. I really want to see if I can, like, get that down. No, you can't. I don't know what collectibles are in this game because I've not found them. Well, they're yet. shinies, so when you find a shiny, you will know what to look for. I see. Um, I'm mm. gonna go down first. Sure. Drop down there. Something that needs to be activated to. Yeah. Travel through yeah, the gate. Must be like a lift. Mm -hmm. That was a checkpoint before. The door was a checkpoint, even yes. though you didn't go through it. And you've got a friend to the left. Hello. Dead Hone, the grave digger. Yeah, I get it. My time in this world is over. Oh, they won't go past. They won't let you get past. Whoa, what are you attacking them for? Unfortunately, I'm still alive. Sorry, maybe you try hitting me with a harder attack. I think he wants me to kill him. Old ZR to charge attack. Mm, no, still here and still very much alive. Let's try a bit of a run-up. Roll with B and press ZR while rolling. I'm sorry, it's not your fault. It happens to everyone. I'm afraid I am burdened with unending life. I can't explain it, and I spent untold years seeking an answer. My name is Steadhome. I'm the Keeper of Graves on the Sacred Mountain. This is really cool. Oh, and if you do find yourself strengthened somehow, feel free to try and kill me again. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, okay. So you've moved Wait, out the way on. for Before you. Before you move, I want to know what this is. Oh, is that door. Not? That looks like something to put stuff in, though. It does. Right, um... Ooh, look at that, it's a grave. It is, isn't it? I assume it's for Steadhome, but... Yeah. Maybe not. I can't, I can't get it. No. It, it probably is for him, yeah. Mm -hmm. I say him, might not be. Well, Steadhome doesn't particularly say one way or another, does it? It doesn't. Here lies a guardian of the door, a preserver of order, and a home to stray souls. That's sick. Look at that. Hmm? And there you go, there's another shiny. I'm not, so not going to try and do You will get an ability to crash the graph at some point. You would hope. You will. No I, they don't put things like that in view if you weren't going to be able to get the ability to get it. No idea. Oh, oh. so many options. I'll go for the one that looks wrong first. Uh huh. Oh, but what if it looks right? Da 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 da. How many times do I have to say that yeah. in one stream? This looks cool. This looks cool. But yeah, no, like, I like the look of this game, uh, and that's why we got it. Um, the only thing stopping us from playing it earlier was because it wasn't available on a console that we owned, so it was Xbox only. And then I'm pretty sure it's been released on it just, all the major really consoles smooth. now. It's really smooth. Like, yeah. I can't explain to you how yeah. satisfying the, it is. The game is being played at 60 frames per second. So, you know, it's smooth controls. Um, it's not a, obviously very graphically intensive game. So, oh, so you're on the side. Interesting. Yeah, no, that's, I knew, I knew that the world building. Yeah, so it's not a graphically intensive game. So they can just say, yeah, we're going to put more performance power into making sure it runs very well. So. Yeah, it makes sense. It's really nice. Mm, this way is... Oh, what's that? This way to the stranded sailor. Okay. This simple structure has a twin. Hidden secret lies within. So you probably have to go through both of the structures to find out what the secret actually is. 
There's a weird pot upstairs as well. Yeah, I'm gonna go and have a look at that now. What are you? Mm, nothing to do, but there is a gate at the top of the cliff. So we'll come back here later. things to do here. Okay, down here then. I, I was right though, that was the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Just find it. This way to the summit. Certainly summit over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, the lever. Were we not just... I feel like we were just here. Well, you dropped the ladder. So the ladder is the shortcut because that was the door. Uh, right, I'm going to well. quickly go back because there was a door down here, wasn't there, that I couldn't open before. Well, you've not done anything to open the gate. I've so. pulled levers and stuff though. Right, but you've not done none of this is all you went through. Yeah. So that gate at the bottom is still closed. This gate to the right is also still closed. So, okay. yeah. Well, you could go through the, the door now. What door? That door. And they'll probably explain what's happened. Little Crow, do I sense a glut of soul energy? Come here and trade in those souls to gain an edge in combat. Oh, I saw a shiny. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh, hello, new person. Hello. Badge of the Reaper, you lost your assignment? That's rough, buddy. It's been so quiet the past few years, advances in medicine or something, I expect so annoying. If we need a new plague, I'm gonna go broke. Didn't lose the assignment, did I? Well, yeah, you, you killed the giant soul, but you didn't take it with you. Welcome to the soul vaults. How do you, how do you take it with you? You don't get ambushed by whatever it was that ambushed you. So you've got strength to wield melee weapons, as well as their reach. But what ambushed me? We don't know. It was a giant crow, it looked like, but it could be oh, something else. Okay. Right, so... Dexterity. Okay, so, uh, melee weapon, okay. Uh, allows to charge weapons faster, increases speed. Speed and movement, greater base speed and less cooldown between dodges. And magic powers, so magic spells and ranged abilities. And it's a good time you came back now because it costs 400. Hmm. I think I'm going to do... So this is quicker attacks and quicker charge attacks. I'm not very good at quick, so I'm going to So that strength. does more damage. Yeah, I'm going to do other, that. So the other one is haste as well. So haste is being able to dodge quicker as well. Yeah, but again, I think dodge is pretty good. Yeah, oh, well. uh, Like, for the beginning part, at least. More damage is always good. Hmm. Now, does it keep my shortcuts? That's of course it question. will. 